Welcome. I am Bully. And I'm Mandy Morose. And today we're going to talk about rousing the blood and gifts of the blood, which is a fancy way of saying cool power things you could do by maybe getting hungrier. Okay, so today we're continuing talking about blood stuff, which is a big part of the game, so that's why it's multiple videos on the system. Um, speaking of blood, if you like blood splattered lightly, but artfully on your dice you should check out our link to level up dice to get blood that looks like some to get dice that look like <laughs> someone bled on them do it first things first is rouse checks rouse check is rolling typically a single dice um as always a six or higher is a success ones and tens don't really matter on this you can't have a bestial or critical rouse you either get a success which means your hunger remains the same, or you get a failure, which means your hunger goes up by one. Um, some uses of blood require multiple rouse checks and hunger just goes up by one per failed rouse check. For abilities that require a rouse check, the hunger is gained if you do gain a hunger by failing a rouse check after the desired effect resolves. So if you're using a discipline power and it requires manipulation and dominate and a rouse check, you roll your manipulation and dominate first, you do the power, no matter if you get hunger or not, your roll still happens. You failing a rouse check doesn't mean you failed the roll. So you do your thing and then you see if you got hungry or you can see at the same time, you can see before, but if you do fail, that won't necessarily add an extra hunger dice to the roll that earned you that extra hunger dice. You cannot do anything that would rouse the blood intentionally if you're at hunger five. Um, failing would cause a hunger frenzy. So if an outside force or someone has a discipline that forces you to make a rouse check against your will, that still happens. But uh, when that forces a rouse check and you're at hunger five, you make an immediate hunger frenzy test at difficulty four. Have we ever done that? Like, has that ever been a thing in any of our games? I don't remember it ever happening. No, there's a, a specific power I can mm -hmm. think of that you can make someone hungrier. Mm -hmm. um, it's not that good because it would, I think it's a cool power for a storyteller to use against a player because mm -hmm. obviously that's when the hunger really affects things. Yes. And there's a way you can do it. It's like a roll off to see if you could do it like sneakily and mm -hmm. like slowly make someone get hungry without yeah. them realizing it and then like make them lose their that's shit. That's cool. Yeah. So it, it has cool implications. I've in the couple times I've played, I've really wanted to take it because again, I would think it'd be really cool in like a high stress situation mm -hmm. meeting, like you slowly making someone hungrier, but think uh npcs have their hungers tracked usually less if at all so it's i don't know mm -hmm. it's a mechanic that has cool potential yeah it can happen but probably not often that would be really cool like if you were a player to use it to do a secret role like work something out with your storyteller so that if you're using it against other players at the table like they wouldn't necessarily know what was going on because i feel like some of the cool part of that is not knowing why you're just be sitting there getting yeah, hungry yeah thinking something crazy was happening yeah. and really just one of their fellow players was being yeah. a dick a dick <laughs> yeah i mean i just think that's cool maybe we'll do that sometime yeah, get the power do it having a high blood potency can allow you to re-roll certain levels of discipline powers that cause rouse checks so say you have a high blood potency and it lets you re-rouse all discipline powers level two and below. So if you use a level two discipline power, it will say you get a rouse re-roll. That just means you roll two rouse checks. And as long as one of them succeeds, you don't get hunger. You'd have to fail both of them to actually get hunger by using your powers. Next, we have awakening. Every time a vampire rises from their day sleep, they must make a rouse check. Um, if this check would raise their hunger above five, they fall into torpor instead of frenzying. So if you go to bed hungry, you might not wake up. Gifts of the blood. Uh, there are a lot of really cool things that you can do because of your blood. Um, Blush of life is one that I really like seeing used. It's interesting to use that um, when you mingle with humans. Um, so what that is, is typically a kindred appears as a corpse. Um, they have cold flesh. There's a lack of breath and paler ashy skin um, but with blush of life uh, this allows a vampire to appear more human um, by forcing the blood through their heart and body to give them a heartbeat and body temperature breath uh, or mimicking other functions 
Uh, Blush of Life is required to use touchscreens, um, consume food or drink without vomiting for up to an hour. Uh, without Blush of Life, you would immediately float, throw it up unless you passed a composure plus stamina test at difficulty three. Um, Blush of Life could also be used to have sex if humanity is high enough. Blush of Life is also easier for vampires with higher humanity. Um, they get to reroll rouse checks uh, at humanity nine. They already kind of look like they're alive, um, a little less dead looking. And Blush of Life, once used, it lasts the rest of the night. A vampire can also activate a little something called the Blood Surge. This is one. A vampire temporarily augments their attributes using the powers of the blood. A vampire makes a rouse check, then adds a number of dice to a single dice roll, depending on their blood potency. Um, standard is you do a one rouse check, and you get to add two dice to your roll. Uh, dice added to the roll remains throughout any willpower rerolls as well. So even if you Blood Surge and you roll bad and you want to use willpower, those original extra dice you get are still in play. You can't use Blood Surge for willpower or humanity rolls, or rolls that apply to more than one scene, or just if your storyteller says that you can't use it for that particular thing. You gotta listen to them. If you're using automatic win rules or take half on roll rules, you don't apply them to rolls improved by Blood Surge. Basically, with the Blood Surge, is you're risking getting hungrier to add dice to your roll. While not explicitly stated, it should probably be declared before the roll is made. Another gift of the blood is vampiric mending. Kindred must rouse the blood to heal and do not heal naturally. How much damage is mended per rouse of blood depends on blood potency. Vampires can heal one or more points of superficial health damage with a single rouse check. They can make this check once per turn. Healing aggravated damage is a little bit more complicated. Uh, it requires you to wait until the next nightfall. Uh, and make three rouse checks in addition to the regular rouse checks made when waking. This removes one point of aggravated damage, as well as a crippling injury or a similar impairment. This means they can only min one point of aggravated damage per night. If this raises the vampire's hunger above five while waking, uh, they will fall into torpor and then just sleep instead of testing for a frenzy. You're out for the night. For exciting sessions when yep. someone's always <laughs> trying to wake up and can't and they get to sit a night out <laughs> think about why they got so hurt <laughs> finally we have perhaps the greatest gift of the blood your disciplines it's what you'll be doing most of your rouse checks for most likely uh, many disciplines require rouse checks to activate especially at higher levels a lot of the level one ones are uh free or don't require a rouse check uh, some require more than one rouse check High blood potency allows rouse check rerolls for certain levels of powers. Vampire can activate one discipline per turn. They can have as many powers active at a time as they want, as long as they just do one at a time. Other blood abilities can be activated at the same turn, though. So theoretically, you can activate a discipline at the same time you mend damage, use blush of life, and blood surge. Of course, that could take your hunger from one to five in a single <laughs> turn as well. Okay, so that is it for rouse checks and some of the basic powers that come with being a vampire and what you can do by rousing your blood. We'll get into some of the other blood powers like feeding it to other people and what happens when you do that later. Otherwise, this is, a, this is the bulk of it. Of course, disciplines will have to be its own thing since that's a whole whatever. So but yeah, these are the basic things. Anyone with vampire blood can do these things and it's what the game's all about. Yep, okay, bye. <laughs> ah, damn it. Yeah. This one's yours, isn't it? No. Oh, I thought it was yours. I thought it was disciplines. Mm -mm. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, I like was like, I wonder if he thinks this one's mine. It's his, but he can't see my face to know that I'm not reading any of this. Maybe if I take a drink, that was going maybe I, if I take a drink, we'll get some communication because I don't want to ask. Nope, I was just reading the next one, getting ready for it. <laughs> okay, I'm glad I took a drink then. That's as good as it's going to be. <laughs> ah, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> you sound like sense. me. <laughs> is a better way to say it. It's 
not a question. Is it like better though? Is this funny and quirky like our whole channel? Oh no, I'm the pro. You're the one who's I edit to look quirky. Weird. Quirky, sure. That's the word we'll use. People think you're quirky. that. <laughs> All right, cool, 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 Dude, you said you responded tight to my text message, which is something I say every single day. Like I, I say that in my like verbal communication. I say it in my text messages. Like it's happened so much recently. It's like I always say I've that. I've never heard you say tight. I say it all the time. Literally never. And I text all the time. I think I texted that to you like last week. And they're like, ah, damn it. Yeah. 